are going to see event system. So the name itself, uh, there are plenty of events uh, in the browser side. So for example, as a user, uh, I'm going to use mouse. So uh, I can uh, you uh, I can say uh, mouse based events like uh, mouse over and click, and we can say scroll and uh, mouse in mouse out. Uh, this kind of events uh, basically deals with mouse. If you're if you're talking about keyboards, then obviously key press, key down. There are plenty of uh, uh, Events available for the keyboards, right? If you, uh, for example, if you're going to type something, uh, type your name at that time, you need to uh, you need to touch some of the text buttons, right, in the keyboard. At that time, uh, the code can easily recognize. So uh, currently you are typing T. Currently you are typing O, P, so something, right? How the keyboard is recognized with the help of these kind of events. So these are the uh, these are the events. There are plenty of event system there. So with the help of that, uh, uh, the particular event uh, return the value. To the browser or the code, and code can easily recognize what type of data we can retrieve from the particular event. So that is called event system, and this is generic one, uh, not only from the React side. Even though you can use in normal HTML, uh, normal JavaScript, or Angular, any kind of frameworks, any kind of languages have the event system. But what is the what is the advantage when when came came into the React side, right? Uh, in general, in general, uh, we have the different kind of browsers. Some of the events not applicable for some browsers, but when you're using React, React uh, actually React React have the custom events. It's called synthetic events. So it will create, it will grab all the events and and it will convert into the generic manner. So you uh, convert as a, a normal uh, API API model. It will it will create and it will store in itself. So you can use any kind of browsers, but uh, it should be give the expected behavior. It, uh, in the previously, I told uh, some of the browser doesn't applicable for some kind of events, but that uh, that won't happen when you're using React. So that is a big advantage uh, React to use uh, to uh, to React to use creating big application. And some people are using Mac, some people are using Ubuntu, some people are using Windows, even some older version as well. So at that time, we need to uh, create application uh, for all the browsers for all the environments. So at that time, React is the best choice to uh, create applications uh, for the cross-browser things.